Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. Everybody, thanks for listening to the Triple B Experience. I'm your host, Bad Bubba Brewer. I just want to give you guys a little bit of insight about me, what makes me tick, what really gets me going, and what cools my jets when need be. Hey, I love professional wrestling. I wrestled for 17 years. And also, I'm a huge Steeler fan, and I've collected comic books all my life. So I'm going to talk about the stuff that I want to talk about. True experiences that are entertaining and we recant them stories to you, the masses out there in podcast land. Join me on this crazy journey called the Triple B Experience. Hello everybody, this is Bad Bubba Brewer. Welcome to the Triple B Experience. This is my official fifth podcast, which goes over the limits of any podcasting that I've ever done in my entire life. So I also want to say where you could actually listen to the Triple B experience is also the places where you need to go are SoundCloud. You can go to iTunes. You can go to playgoogle.com and you can go to iHeart. And you can go to YouTube and catch that. And we're also looking to get on Spotify. So you can also check it on Facebook if you hit like and share at the Triple B Experience. Get the word out. Try to get more people to listen. I'm trying to do uh, an entertaining and interesting podcast. I'm trying to talk about stuff I like to talk about. I try to get some feedback from some people. I'm going to have some interviews once I get some more equipment and know how to do that so I can get everybody and just call them on the phone and we can do it that way. I'm working on that. It's a slow, tedious process. Just bear with me. And I'm here to make my podcast show very entertaining and very lighthearted, but with some true stories about some wrestling stuff I did in the indie days and stuff that I've done and stuff that I like. Um, I'm very opinionated. You guys already know that. So my opinionated uh, situations, I'll always be shooting from the hip, and I'll handle it after the fact. So anyway, my fifth podcast, I feel like Bruce Willis in the fifth element. Uh, I had the fourth podcast, and we did it on Facebook Live simultaneously as I was doing the podcast. Uh, It could have been a lot better. Uh, I needed to talk to the people when they had the questions and read the questions, but I was answering that without anybody knowing what the questions were. So that's my my, my, my stupid uh, way, and that won't happen. I, I fucked up, and that won't happen again. Uh, it's, a, it's a trial and error. So I, that, I won't do that again, and we can do that again with a Facebook Live thing. It, it got interacting, and it got, it got good reviews. People like that. People like to, you know, I say I like to say hi to people, and I just got to read your questions and then give the answers and not the answers without the questions because it sounds just horrible. So I know this week, you know, it's been crazy. Everybody's got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Uh, I know the other day, Big Van Vader passed away, and for a big man in wrestling, he was a true master dom. Of and things in the ring. Uh, I met him one time at IWC. He was doing an autograph session. It was the same show that I met Roddy Piper. Gold Dust was on. Piper did a Piper's Pit with his son. And I stood in line and I uh, met Vader. He was sitting there and I asked him if he could get up off his chair. Just I just wanted to see how big he was. That's all. And he he had me by two or three inches. He was a big guy. So I just wanted to see truly how big he was, knowing when I used to watch him on TV that he was bigger than life. So I just wanted to see. He was a great guy. I got a picture in my in my uh, lovely room here on the wall. I got an autograph, and it's just a shame that he, you know, he couldn't win against his battle of, I believe, heart disease and stuff like that. So he 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 just very tragic. 
and I just want to give my condolences out to Vader's family and to the whole wrestling community. And it's bad when we lose someone in the wrestling stuff that we actually watch when we were kids and stuff because it shows our true, you know, things when we were watching stars and stuff, people that passed away that we watched. You know, nobody's immortal. And it just shows that we just have so much time on here and you got to take advantage of the time that we have. So, on another note, I wanted to tell you a little story about at the old Raw Arena in APWF. Because there's a lot of stories that I have about independent wrestling. And I'm going to put it and shoot from the hip with a lot of stories about indie wrestling. Whether good or bad, happy and sad. I'm going to say it the way that I've seen it, and that's the way I'm going with. But I'm going to tell one story, maybe two today. I'm going to tell the story about the time that we were at Club Extreme in downtown Indiana, which was an old, right behind Buggy's gas station, and they had uh, they had the dance thing. It was called Club Extreme. I think a guy named Denny owned it at the time, it was late late 1996-97 Lash got with him and they made a they made a they had a business meeting and I'm not going to say too much about him right now but uh, they had a meeting and we got a show there now the show that we had there was the show that we had Jake the Snake Roberts on and George Steele now this is the first show that we had there and we had a new booker, and his name was, I believe, I believe we have a new booker, and his name was Chad Henry, and Chad Henry was doing the booking for Chris at that time, trying to make storylines interesting. So it took the the burden off Chris. I mean, Chris had a final say. And, uh, you know, it was the Club Extreme building was a concession stand area. We had bathrooms. Uh, Amanda Hornack was... The concession stat girl, she would uh, sell concessions at that time. They had a locker room to you walk through, and it was where the ring was. We had training in there, and then to the left was a, a block, and behind there was the locker room. We had a walk-in. You could walk to the ring that was built with wood. Uh, we had Jeff Gorman up in the, the uh, up on top of the ledge on the eagle nest, if you want to call that. Doing play by play because we had we were fi- filming, which uh, we had a lot of film uh, videos at that time. I have a couple of the videos, but I don't have the whole collection of the APWF, which is total bullshit. You know, I'm not kissing anybody's ass to get my my product. I, I'm just not doing it. I have asked numerous times. I'd actually pay for it, and it's like, oh, I, uh, hey, Bubba, I can't do it. So I got some stuff. I have some VHS stuff that I need to convert, and I need to put it on YouTube channel and let the fans look. I'm not looking to make any money. I'm just looking to put it out there and just to show some of the stuff and the footage from the old APWF, especially from the Raw Arena. So we had approximately, I think sold out at the Raw Arena was about 150, maybe close to 200. I let people, uh, if they wanted a drink, they went to El Patty's, and at uh, that time it was Boomerangs on the other side. Still there, I don't know. I don't go uptown too much. I'm out of that stage. And I said, as long as people, as long as you didn't cause trouble, you could have uh, some drinks. And, and there was no trouble in there. You had people come in, and there was no issues. You know, we had to pay the doctor. At that time, it was, you know, $400 for the doctor. It was... Three or four hundred dollars for the license. It was five hundred dollars to train for the month there. So it was five hundred dollars a month was the rent. So how in the fuck can you goddamn make any money after you're paying five hundred dollars for the building, four hundred dollars for a doctor who just sat there and ate his fucking he didn't eat a cheeseburger, but he looked like fucking Jerry Garcia. Didn't do a goddamn thing at that time. And the doctors really don't have to do anything anyway. And and the license. That doesn't include your talent. And at that time, Lash was getting talent from Maryland Championship Wrestling. 
from Danny, Corporal Punishment. That, that federation was kick-ass, and it was great talent. But how, and the, the trainees would pay, you know, to help with shows because you had to pay. And we had T.C. Reynolds, when we did Burnside, he was a trainer. And we had Julio, Julio De Niro was a trainer. And you had to pay. Like, I don't know how we made any fucking money at that. I, I don't know how anybody made it. I don't know. Like, I seriously sit back and I was like, how the fuck did we make any money when you're putting out almost $1,500 for fucking, for even paying for the talent? Like, it's astronomical. It would, it would, it was unreal. You know, and I know Lash would go to the frick, uh, his Mac, the Mac card, uh, put it in a Mac machine and get some money out. You know, and it was crazy. But anyway, I'm getting off the beaten path. The first show I was not on, I come out and I power bombed. A guy named Jeff, his, name, his gimmick name was Blaze, and I did a, a, a stupid ass fucking Goga gimmick because Lash wanted me to, which was fucking stupid. And he drop kicked me right in the knee in Brockway, Pennsylvania. On the second Brockway, Pennsylvania show, which the first show, the Little League gave the money, Lash made money. The second show, the guy didn't sell many tickets, and we were all. Uh, trying to give money to the till so Lash could pay his show because he was sweating bullets. You know what I mean? And I remember when I got drop kicked in the knee you know, by Blaze and I finished the match and my knee was all swollen and shit. And King Kong Bunny's like, oh, man, that was, oh, that's pretty bad. Like, I thought my fucking career was done. Like, I seriously thought I was done because Blaze drop kicked me right in the kneecap. Like, what in the hell? So anyway, I got to Indiana, went to the emergency room, had a knee brace and all that stuff. But anyway, back to Club Extreme. That was my redemption. It was my payback, I guess. I power bombed them because I was going on a heel. I was turning heel. They had me writing, uh, turning heel at that time. They had George Animal Steel. Jake Roberts was there. Uh, that's when Dr. Feelgood, you know, wrestled uh, Jake Roberts. You know, cut a promo. Jake come out in his first match. And I think it was Feel Good's first singles match or first match ever, I believe. And then they went to the gimmick of the Freebirds 2000 with him and Casanova Cato, and that's probably that's other stories later on. But we had a we had a full house, and we ran there for a long time. But I just don't know how we made any money. But to the, the funny story before I end this segment about this situation at the raw the raw arena was there was a band living on the other side and we had a, the sandman on the show and these motherfuckers took the cage down what we did for decorations and they were playing like they were the goddamn blues brothers and they were fucking motherfucking us and i'm like this is our stuff you took it off the wall like you seriously took it off the wall like they're like oh but they're behind the fence like a bunch of jabronis. So I got upset. I ripped the cage down. And I think I almost hit Princess Jade with the cage. Because they were mother effing us. And I was like, okay. So, to make a long story short, uh, my temper got the best of me. They, they, they wanted to press charges. But they stole our stuff to use it. And they were stealing the, uh, uh, the heat and the water that we, it was in my name. Because they were living on the other side of the building because they were a dirt ball, fucked up, stupid band that couldn't get a gig if they tried. So I had to go to the police barracks and uh, talk to the police officer that I knew because I think me and, well, I, I'll go with me. I, they wanted to talk to me about the situation and yes, I was a little heated. I didn't punch nobody, but I was a little heated that they used our stuff. And it was my steel cage that I paid for because that was off the cage that we had when I lost to the title to Pig Vomit on my birthday. After the, that, we, it was, we spent $100, and then that cage was shitty, so we just put it on the wall to for decorative design. And they used it to thinking they're the Blues Brothers, and they're thinking people are throwing beer bottles at them. So that's one Club Extreme story. And I'm sure I got more. And I know I have more. And that's my first APWS story. So if anybody's in the, uh, you know, back in the day that got some other stories, if I'm right, let me know. If I'm wrong, I'll admit to it. 
But I was there that night, and I pulled that cage out in front of those guys, and they thought they were mouthy hiding behind that cage. Well, they were stealing our utilities and living there for free, and it was just trouble. So that's one story from the Raw Arena in downtown Indiana when the APWF was running. But I guarantee I got a lot more. And I'm sure I might not make a lot of people happy. But hey, entertainment is what I'm all about. So anyway, you're listening to the Triple B Experience. I'm your host, Bad Bubba Brewer. The Triple B Experience. We'll return after these messages. Battaglia Home Inspections, the only place you need to go for pre-purchase, pre-list, or general home inspections. Battaglia Home Inspections is available to discuss how our services can meet your needs. Our impartial and experienced inspectors can help you make an educated real estate investment. Pennsylvania State Certified Real Estate Inspectors. Servicing Beaver County, Butler County, and surrounding areas. For more information, go to BattagliaHomeInspections.com or give them a call at 724-987-3770. Vapor Connection in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Premier vaping lounge and proprietor of vaping supplies. We carry everything from mods and accessories to the widest selection of e-liquids in Pittsburgh. Visit our shop in Blahnox and sample e-juice from America's best suppliers. Vapor Connection, Pittsburgh's premier vapor and shop lounge. Vape easy at the Vapor Connection. For more information, go to VaporConnectionLLC.com. You're listening to Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. For all your heating and cooling needs, service, and installation, contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? Thanks for returning. I am Bad Bubba Brewer, and you're listening to the Triple B Experience that's played on IdiotRadio.net iTunes, iHeart, YouTube. It's on the YouTube channel, people. You can actually sit there and listen to me on YouTube, which I think is pretty cool. And also, the thing that I've been promoting the most since I've started, because I was promoting it like gangbusters, was SoundCloud. So you can get on Facebook also and go to the Triple B Experience and hit like and share. And I'm trying to get more members. I'm trying to spread the word. And also get on uh, Facebook and hit like and share with Idiot Radio. They have a lot of other podcast shows. And it's a, it's, it's a great bunch of stuff on there. So give it a like. Give it a share. Listen to all the shows you can on IdiotRadio.net. Well, anyway... There's been a couple situations that in pulp culture land uh, I, I do love. But lately, I'm getting very irritated. Look, I am not a zombie person. Uh, I remember years ago, I hated fucking zombies. I remember one time, me and Troy Fritz went to the Steel City Convention. It was a bunch of zombies. And he was all in, he's all in about zombies. I was not. I wanted to see the living legend Bruno San Martino, which I did again. But anyway, he was like, oh, Bubba, it's the machete guy. I was like, I don't give a fuck. I could care less about the machete guy. I'm not into, not into zombie movies. I've seen, you know, George Romero's first one, the black and white one. I've seen the one where they're in the mall. Okay, uh, I'm not a big, I'm not a big, I, I'm not into horror movies. As surprising as people might think that I am, I am not into horror movies. I like the original Halloween. I know they're going to, I've seen the trailer for the remake, uh, not the remake, but the reboot. Like Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, and she's like 67 years old. Um, I'm just not, and I'm not into gore and blood. I'm not into that stuff. I'm not into Saw movies. I'm not into, that's not my cup of fucking tea. But where I'm going with this is I got into The Walking Dead and I wish that 
I would have grabbed the first issue comic book and got five. Now, I know uh, my coworker George Barber had him in his hand, and he always tells me that. He had him in his hand, and he put him down. And I was like, oh, my God. If you, Yeah, I mean, who would have known? Nobody knows. Like, you know, he feels bad probably, but, but you know what? It, it is what it is. Nobody knows. I mean, really. I mean, who would know that that it would turn into the phenomenon on Sunday nights, like, you know, you got a you got a show of The Walking Dead, and then you have another show about talking about watching The Walking Dead. But I, I'm just not. I was never into that. I'm I, I'm into The Walking Dead now. But the thing with that is, I I'm not happy with where the storylines are going. And if everybody's heard, and I'm sure everybody heard on the internet because everything's on Facebook or any website known to mankind, like Andrew Lincoln, it's his last hurrah. And I'm sure we'll talk about that more when it comes time when he's getting written off the show where he dies or he takes a horse and rides off into the sunset, which I have no clue because I don't understand it anyway. Like, I don't understand... I understand nine years is a lot. Okay. It's not like... Look, it's not like fucking Hollywood is breaking down his door. It's like, hey, Andrew Lincoln, uh, how about you uh, play this next George Clooney movie? That's not the case that I know of. Uh, I know he might be homesick, but he can fly. Like, he can go home anytime he wants to. Like, you know, if I wanted to go to Florida, it takes me goddamn ten years to save money to go down there for a week. And he could just fly and bump up back and forth. I'm sure he gets paid a good chunk of change for playing The Walking Dead. So I can't believe that he wants to roll out. I, it is what I, I, I just and then it killed Carl off, which was Scott Gibble is uh, he's a fucking idiot. He has the source material off the comic book, and I don't know why they just don't go and adapt. Okay, you can adapt it to the the TV show. But what you need to do is get it so close to the comic book, that's why people are reading it. And yes, you want to get new viewers, but you would get new viewers based on the comic book premise of the storyline. You know, it, that's just how I, I, I just, that's how I feel, you know. And then I watched, I watched Fear the Walking Dead, which now it's got Morgan coming from The Walking Dead. And this guy walked from Virginia to goddamn Texas. Like, just walked. Not like, you know, yeah, he had a car or whatever, but still. It's not like there's gas stations open during the zombie apocalypse. Like, they find more gas and, and more cars than anybody known to mankind. Like, I don't know the time display. But actually, right now, I, I think, in my opinion, Fear the Walking Dead is better than The Walking Dead. That Walking Dead Season 8 with the gang wars with Negan, they made Negan turn into a fucking pansy. Negan is going to... I don't know where it's going to go because he's going to be put in a cage and he's going to be... Negan's probably going to lead them all into the promised land now because Rick's taken off in Season 9 to go back home because he's homesick. And then what's he going to do after he realizes he's not going to make any more money, but he'll get, he'll make money on syndication, but Andrew Lincoln won't make, he's not like, they're not getting him to be a lead actor in movies. Like I said before, it just doesn't work that way. And it just boggles my mind. Like, like, and, and fear, and fear the walking dead. Actually, the storyline was be bopped around this, this season. And then, <laughs> excuse me, I'm getting so worked up. I had a, and I don't even smoke. But they had the main character of Nick, which is the son, the drug addict son. He got homesick. So he got homesick and he wanted to leave last year. How in the hell do you get homesick when you're, like, you're making money and it's not like Hollywood's calling you either. It doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm an asshole. Like, I don't know. Like, you'll make more money if it's a successful TV show. You'll make more money and people might want to sign you for other stuff just because you're homesick doesn't i mean look it's not like you're it's not like you're out fighting fucking wars and shit like you're 
you can fly back and forth. Uh, I know it's like six months or whatever, but you can take a break and go. I mean, well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm an asshole. I don't know. That's just my opinion. But they, you know, they 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 killed his character off by a kid shooting him. So you can't kill the kid for killing him. So what do you do? It, it's just I, I I just I'm not a writer. It's just my opinion. I, I do different stuff besides the wrestling. I talk about stuff I like. And I and I, I, I don't like zombie movies, but I do like The Walking Dead because I do collect the comic book. And I wish I would have had the comic book from one the whole way up. Now I had all the graphic novels, but I don't have the originals, which to me, when I buy comic books, I like the originals. I don't like fucking reprints. It's like rebooted movies. It's like remake movies. I don't really care. I can't even think of a a remade movie that I actually liked. I just can't. But I wish I'd have had the issue or four issues of number ones. I would keep one and sell them all. But I don't know if if it would be worth it like it used to be because the price always goes up and then it goes down. But actually, they, they, they also, at the season ending, mid-season finale of Fear the Walking Dead, the motherfucking dies. So how do you kill two main characters of TV show this doesn't make any sense to me. Nobody's seen her die, though. I'm not gonna, but I guess she's moving on. She's doing something else. But it doesn't make any sense. So all these people are rolling out because they're homesick, or it's stupid ass script writing that kills a major character. Because I thought, I, I thought she was coming along pretty good, and I have issues. I'm not big into female lead characters anyway. The only female show that I truly watch with a female lead character is Jessica Jones. Because I think that's pretty good. Because Kristen Ritter is actually very, very good at that role. That's just my opinion. These are all my opinions on my podcast. So don't, you know, think I'm whatever. It's just that I just, I, I like a lot of team-oriented shows. Or I I watch I watch The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, and a lot of uh, comic book TV shows. I, I try to watch... Because I don't watch too much network TV. So that's just how it is. But I cannot believe that they killed Madison Clark. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Just doesn't make any sense. And we'll have to, I'll have to wait and see what's going on. Like everybody else that's a, a fan of Fear of the Walking Dead. But I think Fear of the Walking Dead right now is did better than The Walking Dead. So we'll have to see what goes on with that. I don't know. The comic book is crazy. Like the comic book is... They did that... After the war, they did the the two to three year time lapse, and they brought in the, you know, they brought in the uh, Alpha and all the whispers, you know, the zombie, you know, people, humans wearing the zombie stuff, which they're gonna have to do that, but they won't have Alpha, and Carl was a major part of that, you know, Carl uh, got in, involved with uh, Alpha's daughter, and Alpha's daughter left, so uh, you're getting, you're deriving from the storyline. So, Scott Gibble, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Just follow the comic book. You know what I mean? That's all you got to do. And I'm sure everybody bitches, you know. But, hey, it is what it is. You know? But that's why I never, I was never a big, I'm not a big fan of the zombies. Okay? I am a fan of the human interactions where people turn and they turn evil and they were a good person and they were trying to survive so they'll do anything to survive kind of thing it's 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 about humanity it's not about the fucking zombies right now the zombies should be all bones anyway because they've been out there out there in a zombie apocalypse for for five years now i think in the in the storyline you know so what do i know all i know i'm just giving you my opinion on what i like and what pisses me off when they kill people that are Main characters like that. I, I, it's like Game of Thrones. Like Game of Thrones, every week someone fucking gets killed. I've never watched an episode of Game of Thrones. I, I'm sorry, I'm probably the minority, but I never watched it. Never ever. My parents watch it all the time. They know what they're doing. I know that the, the, you know, the little guy. He's in it. He was on the Avengers. You know, he was on uh, you know an Infinity War, but I, I've never seen it. But now it seems like The Walking Dead is doing stuff like Game of Thrones. They're just killing, you know, now they're killing major characters. They're not killing, like, secondary characters. Like, now they're killing major characters. Like, so it doesn't make any sense. Like, and even I go from The Walking Dead to uh, Westworld. Like, Westworld's a good TV show. 
And that's very, very good. So if you guys are ever got a chance to watch that, watch that. That's pretty good. That's the only thing. That and Ballers is the only thing I watch on HBO. And I did like The Vice Principal. Those are pretty good. Anything with uh, anything with the dude that plays Kenny Powers is funny for me. That sense, I got that's my warped sense of humor. So I don't know. Everything's changing. Uh, I back in the day, they, it was it was a big thing back in the seventies and eighties to kill like one character. And it, it was because of, of maybe it was because of ratings, but nowadays they just kill everybody. So what do I know? I'm I'm sitting in my humble abode doing podcasts and trying to make a break in the uh, entertainment industry and see what I can do with my mouth and see if I can try to go places and do stuff without you know breaking my back, which would be great. You know what I mean? And get people listening and just spall off at the thing. So. But other than that, never was into zombies, not into horror flicks. Sorry, that's not my cup of tea. I'm into superheroes. You know, when I start talking about comic books, that's what I truly know. I truly know that because I have a massive amount of them, and I'm going to talk about them very, very soon. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Bad Bubba Brewer, and you're listening to the Triple B Experience. The Triple B Experience. We'll return after these messages. For all your heating and cooling needs, service, and installation, contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning. 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? Bataglia Home Inspections, the only place you need to go for pre-purchase, pre-list, or general home inspections. Bataglia Home Inspections is available to discuss how our services can meet your needs. Our impartial and experienced inspectors can help you make an educated real estate investment. Pennsylvania State Certified Real Estate Inspectors. Servicing Beaver County, Butler County, and surrounding areas. For more information, go to BataglieHomeInspections.com or give them a call at 724-987-3770. You're listening to Idiot Radio. Taking it to the edge and back. Vapor Connection in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Premier vaping lounge and proprietor of vaping supplies. We carry everything from mods and accessories to the widest selection of e-liquids in Pittsburgh. Visit our shop in Blahnox and sample e-juice from America's best suppliers. Vapor Connection, Pittsburgh's premier vapor and shop lounge. Vape easy at the Vapor Connection. For more information, go to VaporConnectionLLC.com. Looking for a creative idea for meetings, business lunches, and special events? Call Spiels on Wheels, food truck and catering, and take the stress away. For more information, call them at 724-244-9881 or on Facebook at facebook.com slash wheels. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the Triple B Experience. I'm your host, Bad Bubba Brewer. Talking about things I like to talk about. Wrestling, Steelers, comic books, movies, pop culture, and anything that tricks my trigger or makes me uh, give you my opinions on situations that I think are right, could be wrong. That doesn't matter. But anyway, I just want to say, you know, it's getting to be the... uh, you know, it's the first, uh, yesterday was the first official first day of summer, and uh, what a long day that was, because I had to mow grass in my lovely yard, which is uh, the triple trifecta of uh, the Viet Cong jungle, and Loch Ness Monster in Scotland, and the swamp thing, it, it's terrible, it's so uneven, it's god awful, but uh, I got it done, so, you know, Sweating, sweating, mowing grass. It's a great way to get in shape. So, and I'm still working on that. I'm down 14, people. 14 pounds. Eating right. Food portions. I haven't had a piece of bread. I haven't had a root beer. I haven't had a piece of fucking pizza. I haven't had any wings. So, and I've been, you know, 
doing the elliptical and doing some cardio at the gym, lifting. Uh, the other day I went to box and it was a damn, uh, it must have been humid or something because I was fading quickly. It was not good for me. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. And then, uh, you know, taking uh, some poundage off at a, at a slow rate. I got all the time in the world, I hope. And to get where I need to be, and I will. And don't get me wrong, though, I, I'll go out and have a, I'll go out and have a couple drinks. You know, I'll drink vodka. We have a safety meeting uh, next week, and uh, those are very, very uh, fun and exciting at the villa. And I'm going to get a chicken salad. Chicken salad, it will be not a nacho grande, a half order wings, and an Italian hoagie. It ain't going to fucking happen. It's not happening. I'm not doing it. I don't. I'm not breaking. I'm not, I'm not going off the wagon and going crazy, so, and I know it's, you know, pretty soon it's 4th of July, and I'll be going to a party, but I'll still maintain, I don't have to drink everything up, vodka tonic, I can have a couple of them, I don't have to have a whole bottle of vodka, okay, um, I'm just doing what I need to do, you know, and I, I'm enjoying doing this podcast, and, and, and talking, and getting the word out, and trying to get as many people as I can to listen to this. So I need, uh, you know, all the help and support I could possibly muster to get me to where I need to be. Uh, I'm looking to crack, I'm looking to crack 200 likes on Facebook. I know it's not a big thing, but the more likes you have, the more fans you got. All you got to do is, you know, it's it's great. And if everybody listens to the podcast while they're driving or whatever, that's great too. You know, working out. I listen to podcasts and I'm working out. I listen to something to wrestle with with Bruce Pritchard and Conrad Thompson when I'm working out or in the car. I listen to other stuff. I mean, it's just, you know, it's something something to do. I don't have to listen to music all the time, and I do like music. But, you know, just uh, everybody, you know, give me a like, give me a share, and spread the word. It's like, hey, if you want to listen to a podcast, listen to Bubba's podcast. He, he tries to be funny. <laughs> I do. I try to be. So... Well, anyway, pretty soon it's going to be Steelers season, and I guarantee that po- this podcast will start to be kicking when it's Steelers season. I'm telling you, as God is my witness, anybody that knows me knows what I'm truly about when it comes into the fall season of football season. I am a diehard Pittsburgh Steelers fan, and I had some Facebook Live posts with me going off that you have never, ever seen, and I tell you right now, you talk about entertaining you talk about being hyper and going off the tangent. That's me, especially when we lost to the fucking New England Patriots and I went off like gangbusters. I could have walked right through my living room wall when they didn't give Jesse James that touchdown. I swear to God, I hate the New England Patriots. But this year is going to be the year that Big Ben's going to fucking light him up in Heinz Field and we'll be knowing it, we'll be doing it, We'll be talking about it here on the podcast because I'm talking to all the Steelers all the time. There is no other team. There is no other football team. There is no other organization. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know, I like to talk about the Pirates. Well, they're they're uh, they're, they're they're in the water. They're bobbling like a bobber, you know. And then Pens. We'll we'll get with the Penn season. I'm not. I don't know a lot of hawk. I mean, I like watch hockey during the playoffs, but I'm not. Super duper, but I do know a lot of people that are big super duper Pens fans, and I will try to do the best that I can. I am definitely not Mark Madden. I am definitely not the super genius with my IQ of 160. No, that's all he talks. And I, hey, Mark, it's all facade. And he makes money and whatever, you know. You know, and he'd be like, oh, some fucking guy's bashing on me in a stupid ass podcast. Well, the fucking off, dude. Whatever. Shut up. You know what I mean? Like, I listen to you. It's all part of your gimmick. It's how you do it. You try to be whatever. But in real world, what the fuck are you going to do? You know what I mean? Like, I talked to you once. You're pretty cool. But I guarantee, you, 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 what are you going to do? You're 50. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I don't go beat people up. I'm just saying. You know? I, that's how he gets his ratings by treating, you know, everybody's like, ah, clicking up. You know what I mean? And I'm just going off the tangent. I'm bebopping around with some different topics. But, you know, he is what he is. He's, he's make, he makes more money than me. You know, 
I just work. I work for a living. I don't work three hours a day. And I'm sure he gets. He got to get his stuff ready. You know what I mean? And he's all that. But I can bend over and tie my fucking shoes. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so it is what it is. I don't know. But anyway, I talked on the, on the first part about you know some you know indie stuff that I talked about the Raw Arena. See, when I listen to this stuff, I go over and I listen to the segments to make sure that I I sound good and I know what I'm talking about because it's very hard to do this without a script once again. And I just go off the top of my head. So I, I went back and on the second segment we were I was talking about, you know, you know, Jessica Jones was the only show I, I watched with Lee. That's not the case. I also watch The Orange is a New Black. I, I, I do. So there's more than just one show that I watch. You know what I mean? So I wanted to correctify that. I didn't want to be like, oh, Bubba just watched one show. No, I watch a couple shows. and It's Orange is New Black and Jessica Jones. I mean, I can tell you, I know what I watch. I, but I just forgot because, A, I don't have a script and it's very hard to remember everything. It's, you know, I've had two concussions. Ha <laughs> ha! Not from wrestling, so. But I know it's you know coming for the Fourth of July. Everybody's going to be drinking and, and partying and stuff. Just be careful when you're out there. If you had too much to drink, call somebody. You know you guys should always do that no matter what. It's not cool to, you know, get all hammered up and get behind a wheel. It's not. It's not good. You know, try. I try to be responsible. You know, I don't get all liquored up and get behind a wheel. I have one or two. I am over 300 pounds, and if I can't handle three drinks. Well, holy shit, it's time for me to retire. <laughs> you know what I mean, people? So, you know, I've been just getting gearing up. Summer's halfway. You know, well, it's the first day of summer yesterday, so summer's here. It's been raining. Like, we live in fucking Seattle, and every day it rains. It's ridiculous. But uh, Steelers season will be up here before you know it. Uh, there's, you know, everything. Uh, movies, I'm going to go see Jurassic Park because every week, there's a blockbuster, and it's like you need a fucking part-time job to go see a movie. I like to go to the drive-ins, but it's, what, $9 per person? So if, you know, not back in the days when you used to sneak them in and sneak a keg of beer in and make your money charging three bucks a head and give them a red solo cup. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, this is my fifth podcast, and I'm trying to be entertaining, and I hope everybody likes what I'm doing. And I'm always looking for uh, topics, and I am going to get... I am going to get uh, the thing for my phone so I can uh, get some get some people on and, and talk and ask them questions and interview. I can interview people. I know I can. I, I can interview. I can get it done. But uh, I'm probably going to have to use a, a better phone because I, <laughs> I switched carriers. And I went with Cricket and my Verizon contract was not done. Uh, I suggest uh, nobody do that because Verizon is the fucking Antichrist. And I don't care who hears it. I don't like the fucking... I don't like Verizon. And uh, I, and I said a couple times on Facebook with my post because people think I just post and go off on... No, I don't go off. I Sometimes I do. And I know people are like, Oh, Bubba, you're more entertaining when you go off. You know what I mean? And I know I'm pretty entertaining. Because I don't hold back. And that's that's probably a problem because I sit and take it. No, I don't sit and take it. If I got something to say, I say it. So, but yeah, I got, uh, I, I got cricket now. But the thing is, though, which is crazy, totally fucking crazy. Me and Tammy were eating supper and I canceled my Verizon. Okay. And I went with cricket because I got four lines for a hundred bucks. And my parents got phones just to have them. And it's $25 per line. Yeah. Well, Verizon just, you know, as soon as I canceled that, my bill was like, boop, big time. So I was like, oh, Jesus. But my phone has never, ever fucked up when it says moisture in the port where you do the charger. Never, ever before. And Tammy's phone was fucking up. Our, both our phones were fucking up at the same time. I feel like I was in a a conspiracy theory with Jesse the Body Ventura. Like, how does that happen? But, you know, since I've quit with Verizon, all my, you know, 
it's 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 fucked up. Like I had uh, the other day, I had an app where it went to safe a safe mode. It went to safe mode. I didn't touch anything, nothing. It went to safe mode. All my apps I couldn't get on. I was like, holy shit! I can make a phone call. So I don't know. Uh, it, yeah, it's crazy. But now I got cricket, so I have to make sure if I do a phone um, interviews, I make sure that the moist point <laughs> is cleared up because I have to do. I have to charge my phone on a wireless charger. But I'll make sure I have a lot of you know all my technical stuff is out of the way. Um, but I have no problem with cricket. Um, I'm out in the sticks right now. I'm out. And I have no problem. I have unlimited data. So I have no, I have, you know, it might, the call might drop or something like that. But, you know, if I live, if you drive by Keystone Lake out here before you get to 422, it goes out. If Verizon don't even, there's no fucking service with Verizon. So it doesn't really matter. I don't go that way anyway in case I break down. And I'm not walking, you know, I'm not, I'm not walking to somebody's house out in the middle of Timbuktu. I'm not doing it. So, but yeah, this is my fifth podcast. And I will get the sixth one out and about. And I just want to come up with new topics. And it might be the same topic. And I might just add a little bit more to it and go from there. And like I said, uh, you know, I talk. I, I got a lot of wrestling stories that I can tell. And I got a lot of, you know, going to Steeler games and, and fun time and, and stuff of going, you know, to, you know, I'm also looking for cool places to go to actually have a good time with me and my other half. Uh, not so much. Well, I mean, I, we travel. I mean, we will travel. You know, and I don't hang out with any bars in Indiana anymore. I, I don't hang out regularly in bars. I just don't do it. Um, it's just it's just not the same. Uh, it's just my opinion. And I just, some of the bar owners, I just, you know, I'm just, I, I'm old school and I just, you know, it is what it is. You know, it's not like it was in the 90s and early 2000s. I don't know. And I'm just not into the bar scenes. I just like to have something good to eat and, um, you know, have good service and do there. I do like to listen to music, like I said before. So, you know, I like to catch a band here and there. Some places I just don't don't frequent anymore. I just do, I just don't go to establish. I just don't go to their establishments. You know, I just I just don't. You know. And whatever, and, and, and no offense, I'll never go. I just won't. Go, I don't go back. So, you know, and that's just the way it goes. But anyway, just to you know, get it out there, and, and you know, just be, just you know, everybody listen to my podcasts. And this is, you know, you can get them on uh, YouTube. You can get them on iHeart. You can get them on Google Play, SoundCloud, and iTunes. So everybody, thanks for listening to the fifth podcast. And keep going, like, hit, share. I appreciate all the support. Uh, Once again, this is Bad Bubba Brewer, and you listen to the Triple B Experience.